So you're like a lot of people, you want to get into kayak tournaments. It looks fun, you've seen it on videos, maybe you've seen some of my channels, or some of my channels, some of my videos on my channel where I've, I've done it. And I'm going to do like a little beginner's guide to getting into kayak fishing tournaments and my setup because I've only been doing this for a year and like a half or less uh, of kayak tournaments. I started it um, last winter and now I'm in halfway or partially into my second year with this uh, group that I'm in. And I'm going to go over how I got started a little bit and uh, like a little bit of basics. And first thing, first off, it's not that hard. You're not fishing against the best fishers in the world every time. Some of these guys are really good at fishing. Maybe you follow some of the guys that you that that uh, on Facebook or something that you fish with, and you see them catch giant fish. You know, don't be intimidated by that. Anybody can win these tournaments. Um, anybody can get top ten. Um, the best guys out there have days where they don't catch fish, so don't think that they go out there and kill it every time. Um, a lot of them are good, but if you have any kind of experience or if you can catch some fish, you can compete with these people and it's a lot more fun. And especially once you get to know a lot of these guys, they're they're not, you know, intimidated or anything. They're just guys that like to go out and have fun fishing. So the first step is the hardest part. Once you get this done, the rest is easy. The first part is getting signed up for your first tournament. Um, I knew some guys that did it and um, kind of fished with them and then they, they were talking about these tournaments and I was like, that sounds fun. I want to get into doing that. So I, I got on, get, get on Facebook, find a, a kayak tournament league or a group uh, in your area. There's lots of them out there. They're growing more and more. Some of them have, you know, five to 10 people. Some have uh, 40, 50 people. Um, and you don't have to fish every tournament. Almost all these tournaments are anybody can come to them as long as you follow the rules and just get on Facebook, find out the information, look it up and go through all the rules. Uh, contact the people you can message them and once you get that out of the way you get signed up for your first tournament boom every, every, the rest of it's easy so boom you're, you're signed up for your first tournament or you you're, you got it ready you're, you got one picked out and you have no idea what the weather's gonna be like so it could be a horrible day of fishing could be a great day of fishing don't have in, too many expectations but first off before you get out there I'm gonna go over a few things that you want to have kind of ready no matter where you fish at all right, don't mind all the mowing going on. It's that time of the year. Everybody's out there. I should be mowing my yard, but instead of making a video and I got grass growing really high, especially in the backyard. So, all right, first off, the main thing you need is a kayak. So obviously you have to have a kayak. Which kind of kayak do you want? There's lots of kayaks. There's five, $6,000 kayaks. There's $300 kayaks. You don't want the $300 one and you don't need the $5,000 one, although they make a big difference. These are two kayaks that I have. This is a native, it's a 10 foot and it is a uh, propelled uh, pedal drive. This is an old town, 12 foot and it's pedal drive. You don't have to have a pedal drive. There's guys in the tournament I do that don't have pedal drive and they do really good. Pedal drive does help. Also, if you don't have a pedal drive, you don't want one that's too light. This one right here is 10 foot and it gets blown around pretty easy, but I like it to get in small areas where my 12 foot over here is a little heavier. It's a lot more stable and I would take it even if it wasn't pedal drive, but the pedal drive really helps out. The, the size of it really helps out. You want, I know a lot of people want lightweight ones, but if you get too lightweight, it's not very comfortable. So let's go over what I'm gonna have on my um, Old Town PDL 12 foot and uh, a couple things that you would wanna have. First off, whatever kayak, you have to have a comfortable seat. You're gonna be sitting it all day, eight hours, uh, whatever the tournament, however long. So you're gonna be out there. You wanna be comfortable. You wanna be able to stand up. Probably to stretch out or to get out, I can do all that out of this kayak. I can turn around. And um, let me add some things on there now. What am I gonna to add to it to be comfortable to be out there all day? This right here is just my camera mounts. I got a front camera. I can take that one down real quick and then I'll put a back camera back there. And I usually have a power pack that I'll run to it. Um, if you're not making videos, you don't have to worry about that, which takes a lot of the pressure off. You don't really want to focus on that if you're doing your first tournament. So you definitely need some kind of holder or crate, something in the back. They make lots of different ones. This is just a regular milk crate that um, been modified with some rod holders. I got one right here for this kayak that I only have three rod holders on. And um, it's real simple. 
And I just got three rods holders got strapped down by bungees. That's how that one over there is. This one over here has got more rod holders. And you can do a bunch of different rod holders. They got lots of different things for that. But you want a crate, you want to be able to get to your lures and have as many different lures as you want. Different boxes, you got hooks, um, soft plastics, whatever you need to have in there. Cut extra line, um, at least one box. And then sometimes I'll, I'll stick another box back here and sometimes a bag right here. But one box, go through, get all the lures that you like to use, um, things that you're confident in, throw plenty of them in there. You don't have to take too many, but just enough to, you know, where you're, you feel like you're gonna have it. And I can turn around right in my seat right here, turn around, grab my lures. Another thing, you want a net. I uh, didn't realize how much I needed a net until I started doing kayak tournaments because you want to be able to grab it out of there and scoop that fish up. And this is a bigger net, but I love the size of it because I can, I can scoop the fish up, I can lay it sideways, hold the fish in the water if I'm needing to get a picture of it. And it sits right here behind me. Boom, ready to go, turn around and grab it. Lures, net. Obviously, you're gonna have your rod and reels. Take as many as you want or as few as you want. Um, you're not gonna have to worry about them getting tangled in trees because you're usually gonna be out in a lake. This is not like a river or a small water float. Uh, so if you wanna take 12 rods like some do, I usually take four or five. I do mostly spinning stuff because that's what I'm really comfortable with. If you wanna take every different rod for every different lure, um, that's fine. Go ahead and have them tied on with a few of your confidence lures because um, that's probably what you're gonna go with. Um, Unless you've, you know, you're gonna go with something that you that you know that catches fish, and you know it works. Don't start out with lures you never proven before. Uh, sometimes I'll put little snaps on them just to have them ready, so I can tie on anything I want or change out different crankbaits. I think a lot of people get too anxious about what lures to bring, and keep it simple. Bring if you if you want to just keep it really simple, bring five of your best uh, lures. If you want to bring one rod or just two fishing poles, bring two fishing poles. Bring your five favorite lures that you always use or either you know that work and use those. And if the fishing is tough and you can't catch fish with what you know works, it's, it's hard to switch and catch them on something that you don't know works. Uh, every once in a while that could happen, but most of the time you're gonna, it's either gonna be slow times or it's just gonna be a tough day of fishing or you're finally gonna come across those fish and you wanna have something tied on. So go ahead and rig up your, you know, have everything ready to go either the night before is what I like to do or just have them at least ready to tie on straight thing first thing in the morning before I get out there. Because when I get out there on the water, I want to have everything ready to go. I want to have rod and reels set up, ready to cast. All my lures sitting around, know where everything's at. So let's go over a few things you need probably like um, legally and um, for these tournaments, what, you have, what you're going to have to have to be able to compete in them. In the tournament that I go in, you have to have a flag at all times, an orange flag, and they make a lot of these flags, and I bought a little adapter um, from Railblazer that they make a lot of stuff like that. And uh, so that's a flag, but also you're supposed to have a light if it's uh, dark, and I don't have a light yet, because usually I don't do it after dark, but we got one tomorrow that's gonna start really early. I may have to go get a light or get something rigged up where I have a light to be legal. Um, also, you have to wear your life jacket the whole time. That's just in the tournament rules. That's not like a official thing. Um, and you have to have a whistle. That's, that's also a part of them. Some of these are like recommendations and requirements for uh, just being out in a boat or being out on a craft. So a life jacket that you're comfortable wearing. This is an old town one that they sent me with this kayak. And it's a comfortable one. It's got a high back where I can sit there, be comfortable with it. Um, I usually put my phone in the pocket over here because you're gonna have to have a smartphone to take pictures. So you gotta have to have what you call a catch board or a hog trough. And um, this one here is one I got recently. A lot of them, this one already has the lines marked really really uh, bright. Some of the ones, uh, my, like my old one I have, which I'll probably bring it also just to have a backup. You have to, I had to like mark in the lines and you're supposed to have a sticker on the end. Just so you lay the fish down, the fish has to be touching uh, the end with its mouth closed and you take a picture over it and um, with whatever it's touching at, and then you upload that to the app that the tournament is ran through. I was trying to fit, think of a few things to end it off with, but lastly, I think the, one of the biggest things for me anyways, is just something, things that are gonna make me comfortable. Uh, what's, what's the thing you want on your kayak that's just, you're like, okay, I'm glad I have that. Uh, a rain jacket is a good one. It's supposed to rain half the day tomorrow in the tournament. Um, maybe a whole wetsuit. 
water, snacks, for me, snacks, and some Mountain Dews or some drinks, like my favorite drinks. That makes a big difference. Uh, a couple candy bars, stuff like that. If I just getting um, aggravated or getting hungry, I want something just to kind of fix that. So I can focus back on fishing. I want to, you know, your goal, main goal is be able to fish, be comfortable, not get aggravated and like tired and frustrated before the, the tournament's over. And just be confident, like go out there and just try to catch your fish. You know, um, if you only catch uh, three or four fish or you catch 10 fish, um, you, who knows what, who's gonna win because the winner could have just accidentally caught a giant like a 22 inch or something like that or you know you could catch that fish or the there's a guy that could have won and he had one come off i've had some big fish come off and still caught little fish and still placed in the top five and i was like man if i just caught that big one i would have been the top i could have been the first you can't think about that just go out there and fish uh do your thing don't get don't get too fast don't get frustrated don't get like feel like oh, i'm behind i gotta hurry up and catch something just fish fish at your pace do what you do if you've never really bass fished before, like me, I, I never really bass fished out of boats or kayaks before I started doing tournaments. I did just a little bit of stuff and a lot of bank fishing, but you're gonna take whatever you know and use that into the, the, the kayak part of it. And then you'll just grow that and just, you know, every time you do another one, you get a little more confident. Um, I had some of my best tournaments like early on, and then I had like a streak or I was doing terrible. I'm like, I thought I was learning things, but you just don't know what the fishing, the fishing day is gonna be like the location is going to be like or anything. And if you haven't pre-fished, don't be that worried about it. If you did pre-fish, don't think that's the only thing that's going to make all the difference. Um, because I, I mean, I've, I've pre-fished a week before the tournament and there was, I was on top of them. They were everywhere. I went right back to that same spot. There was not a fish around. I, and I know cause I could see all the ones they were just totally gone. There was nothing there. So sometimes pre-fishing, it definitely helps. You need to be familiar with where you're going. That's my main thing. I, at least I wanna know, go see the dock where I'm gonna put in, just kind of drive to it. The one I'm going to tomorrow is two hours away. So I'm probably gonna drive up there tonight and stay the night. I'm actually going up there today and do a little pre-fishing um, just to be familiar with it, just to see what the water level's at. Is it muddy, is it high? And just kind of be ready to, so I know what I'm getting into to tomorrow. So the more you know, the more confident you are, the easier it is to get right into it. And uh, who knows, go out there and have some fun. Maybe you'll win a tournament. They're not too expensive to join. So if you lose, it ain't that big a deal either. But it's fun to get out there and do the experience.